What's up, everybody? It's Taylor Twelman from Major League Soccer and Apple TV. Match Day 23 was filled with drama, controversy, surprises, Golasso's Jordi Alba's goal against Nashville, and a win for Atlanta United unlike anything I have ever seen, which is where I want to start with my Twelman's takes. Atlanta United has not had the season they expected, which has led to their dismissal of their manager, Gonzalo Pineda, the sale of Yorgos Yakomakis for $10 million, and currently they're in talks to sell both Caleb Wiley and Tiago Almada, the only MLS player to win a World Cup while playing in Major League Soccer. Now, Caleb Wiley, a long shot. Tiago Almada, not so much. Post-game, he basically confirmed the reports that he'll be sold for at the minimum $21 million, with the potential of all the incentives equaling $30 million plus, which means they'll have $40 million plus in player sales this summer transfer window. That's an MLS record. Nice to Tiago Amada to leave Atlanta United and their faithful with a parting gift after his well-placed first half finish. But oddly, that is not what anyone and everyone's talking about having watched this game. 97th minute. Toronto goalkeeper has the ball. He's completely unaware that the Atlanta United attacking player Jamal Tiare was standing behind him at the end of the game. That was going in maybe... Oh, oh Cameron! Zeppelin! Oh! TRA wins it! TRA wins it! What's even more absurd is that Rob Valentino has them unbeaten in four since taking over. No DP9, international tournaments taking away other players, a major reset for Garth Lagaway, and for the first time in his career, he gets to pick a coach. I wonder if Rob Valentino will give him something to think about. How about the late night comebacks in the Pacific Northwest? Let's start in Canada. St. Louis City, depleted roster, struggled to score goals. 13 minutes in, they're up 2-0. And then Brian Wright says, hang on a minute, I'm going to score a hat-trick in 21 minute span, becoming the first player in Whitecaps history to have multiple hat-tricks, as they win for only the third time in their last 11. Three wins in their last 11 games, that's the same win total for St. Louis City the entire year. Ouch. And then you go to Portland Timbers. Great form. They've only lost once in the last eight, but then Minnesota United comes right in, punches them in the face, and they're up 2-0. And it's on the same night they were saying goodbye to Dirone Espria, who for nine years had given the Timbers Army so many great memories. And how fitting, in the 92nd minute, he delivers again. I just out the last year. That's Spria's ball into the box. <laughs> Timbers are now unbeaten their last seven. They've won five of those. Rodriguez has nine goals. He looks the part of a proper goal scorer. I'm actually curious to see what the Timbers do this summer and who do they sign for Phil Neville. July 4th, 2023 was the 20th edition of El Trafico and it set the MLS standalone record of 82,000 fans at the Rose Bowl. But this year, it's going to be better. LAFC, hottest team in the league. They've won 10 of their last 14 games. Bogush having himself a coming out party. Recently scoring a hat trick against the Colorado Rapids. Denis Bowanga, who won the Golden Boot last year with 20 goals, he's already got 13 in 20. But it's more about the Galaxy that are going to make this version of El Trafico extra special. They're tied with LAFC on points. And they've spent over $16 million this offseason for paint seal and peck. And now they have an attack that can compete with LAFC. They've won six of the last seven. But most importantly, They've won four in a row, and Ricky Pooch isn't starting. Diego Fagundes has showed them with a little bit more tactical discipline, the Galaxy aren't as vulnerable defending in transition in space. Pooch is one of the best midfielders in all of MLS, but he's got to be better and understand that tactically, if he's more committed into the system, it will make him, but more importantly, the Galaxy, more dangerous. He was unbelievable last year in this game. I will be shocked if he's not again. I cannot wait to go to this game, and so should you. July 4th, El Trafico at the Rose Bowl for the second time ever, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. While on Offside on Apple Podcasts, we dissect and go into a deep dive about this rivalry and how it all started on the streets with graffiti. And then the iconic opening game with a long-haired Swede playing a part. (laughs) 